everyone and welcome back to Imagination Arts. In this video today we will be going over the last part of the butterfly and bee piece. I will be going over the butterfly and the bee as well as a few other things in the finishing up of this piece. And so with that let's get to this video. Okay so first of all I've got the burnt ochre a pencil and I'm going in and looking at my reference photo and just putting down these areas of with the burnt ochre where I see that these colors are are on the butterfly from my reference photo now I've got the small to blue going in and putting in that blue around the areas where I where it shows this blue in the uh, reference photo now I've switched over and I'm taking that black and just kind of crispening up those edges of the butterfly's wings and going in and putting in those dark areas that separate the colors of the butterfly. And then and using that, switch, you'll see me switching from my uh, colored water pencil into the water pen and blending those out in between each color. Again, they're putting, using that white to put some highlights down on the butterfly. Okay, now I've switched over to my cadmium yellow and, and put down the base for the back of the butterfly, the bee, and then switched over to the black for the main body and the legs and the head and then putting in those veins of the wings and outlining the wings putting in those antennas again blending that out with that water pen and then going back in and putting some more highlights down blending it out some more and there again on the butterfly some of those areas were gray and some of them were that were, were black. Okay, and now I'm taking my stencil and putting in the vine as a divider for, um, for the whole picture. I'm just taking that green, it's kind of like a dark green and putting in that vine. And this is a stencil as you can see it has different patterns on it and I just chose the pattern that I, I, I thought would look best in this with this piece and then use that green to just put in the vine and the leaves on the vine and then I switched back over to um, my uh, cadmium red or burnt red for the flower buds on the vine. I think this is actually the burnt ochre that I switched over to for the flower buds on the stencil. Now I'm going in with my violet and putting some violet in on those And then I will take my water pen and blend those out. Trying to get all those colors mixed in there so that you can see all those different colors that I used on those buds. Blending the vine out to get it to darken up. And then I will remove the stencil and allow it to dry. And then that will be the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, learned some things. See you in the next video. Well, there you have the finished piece and I hope you got something out of this and enjoyed following along with me on this butterfly and bee surreal piece. 
and uh, don't forget to click on that but like button and the subscribe button so that you can keep up with my upcoming videos as well as be sure and follow me on all of my social media sites I have Facebook Instagram and uh, Twitter as well as a MeWe account so be sure and follow me on those so that you can keep up to date on what's going on what I'm working on and what I have coming up as well as know when things are uh, coming up that um, there may be times where I'm not able to do videos such as like holidays um, when I'm busy with holidays and such such as Thanksgiving coming up um, next week I won't be doing a video then because I will be busy I will be out of town and visiting with family and so I won't be able to do a video during that time so there will be no video next week on Thanksgiving Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Hey wait, don't go yet. I still have more to tell you. First of all, make sure that you click on that like button so that y'all know that you like this video and that you want to see more. Also, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already done it to make sure that you know when I have upcoming videos and to keep up with all my future videos coming up. Also, be sure and click on that little bell so that you'll get your notifications when I have a new video up. Also, I have new videos coming up. I have a new video out every Thursday around 3 p.m. and we'll be working on more uh, content in the future. So, thank you for watching and hope to see you around.